Hey guys, uh, Skip here, uh, your friendly neighborhood Johnsburg RC holic. I was going to bring you a, uh, a build video here on the FMS uh, um, Pits. It's a 1400 millimeter biplane. Uh, pretty cool. I won this on eBay uh, auction. Got it for just about 200 bucks. Uh, close sign, I'd say about half the price. It's, it's new. Knew it was an open box buy type, type of thing, but uh, got that bit in there at the last second, you know, and could kind of picture somebody frantically fumbling through the keys trying to get that bit in over mine, but hey, I got lucky this time. I don't usually get that lucky, but this is kind of cool. It's bigger than I thought it was. It's, it's, it's huge. Anyway, we were going to do this one here for you. Uh, I'm going to save this for a later date. Uh, got an unexpected arrival today, and I... Uh, maybe you'd like to see that instead. Uh, not my big brown dog here, but uh, we'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a second. The big brown dog. Hey, buddy. This is Willie. That's Abby. And uh, that's Maggie down there. I don't know what she's got. Anyway, this is uh, what I'm looking at here right now. And it is a big brown box. So let's just get some of this stuff out of the way here. And uh, be gentle, because I don't want to hurt or damage something new. I haven't even put this together yet. This is this is rare that I've got more than one airplane to put together at the same time. Uh, much less so many as of recent. But hey, I'll take it. It's Christmas. It'll probably be a, a dry rest of the season, and uh, and I'm gonna have my work cut out for me. Um, you know, for the for the winter. Let's see, we'll prop the hat up here like this, and hopefully this, this should do. Uh, we'll see how that works out here, guys. And, yeah, I don't know if this is going to stay or not here. Pardon me for one more second here. I think we could flatten the hat out a little bit. Probably get, a, get this to line up a little better. How's that? Huh? That should do. Okay. Uh, should I tell you what's in here, or should I make it a surprise? Maybe you want to start guessing as I'm pulling it out. Actually, if you read the uh, if you read the caption at the beginning of this video, you already know what's in this box. So we're gonna open it up. I made a, a special trip down to Motion RC this morning when I found out that these were in stock. Uh, a buddy of mine down there, uh, he's warehouse manager. He runs the place, and uh, he kind of let me know in advance that this that the truck uh, that the shipment was coming in yesterday. Uh, this is the Freewing F-15C Super Eagle uh, Super Scale 90mm EDF Jet uh, from Motion RC, uh, made by Freewing in conjunction with Motion RC, I believe to a lot of their requirements and specs. But um, been waiting for this guys for like seven months. Seven months. The first one that came out, you know, was all pre-order. You had to pay for it in advance. Hard thing to do to shell out 500 bucks in advance, but uh, enough people did. So the first shipment came in. Man, they were they literally flew off the shelves. Um, the second shipment came in, and of course that happened about the same time that my truck broke down. Let's see if we can get this out of the box here. I'm just going to drop this bottom one to the floor. Sorry about that, Willie. Dad, you want to check out the box? Go ahead. You can look at this one. You can look at that one. We're going to look at this one here. I'll try to turn it sideways here. But yeah, the second uh, shipment they got, of course, my truck was in for repairs, and that was a, a healthy bill, so I, I didn't have the funds. I'd already robbed my PayPal account blind. So I, I had a few months to uh, to save up in the PayPal account. I sold some drones. I sold a, a Walkera QRX 350. Uh, um, right now I'm selling another one with the radio, the whole nine yards. It's brand new. I just don't use them anymore. I've gotten so into the airplanes that, that I'm not flying the drones anymore. But um, so basically trading dollars for dollars, you know, uh, uh, trading drones and things that I that I had from last year, uh, trading up for new things for next season. Been waiting on this. It came in. I don't know how long they'll have them in stock. Motion RC. Uh, great bunch of guys are. Honest to God, I mean, I've, I've dealt with a lot of different uh, RC companies, and hands down, their customer service is about the best. They're certainly the most hospitable. I mean, 
we can just call these guys up and talk to them on the phone and ask them what they think, you know, uh, about what you should be buying if you have a particular interest. They'll give you recommendations. I mean, and most of these guys, most of them, 90% of them are probably accomplished pilots themselves. So they know this. They know what they're selling. You know, they know what they're working with and they, they can give you some good advice. So uh, let's get this thing opened up. Take a look. See what we've got here, guys. This should be pretty cool. Let's see how I can do this here without disturbing the other parts. Like I say, this was going to be a build <laughs> video and, and until until this guy here. So, uh, that's my knife. So we'll just kind of do a build a little bit later because you know how it is when you've been waiting for something for so long and then when it finally comes, you're just like, I feel like a kid at Christmas. careful with this one and we're gonna try very hard not to crash this one I've been practicing like a very very good student on the simulator and on the simulator I own this thing um, but you know that's a simulator and in real life it's not always the same way you got too many other variables and the simulator can't cover everything but as far as flight characteristics and stuff like that the, uh, the Phoenix simulator um, it's actually pretty darn close to, to real flight. I've got some of the actual planes. I've got some of the actual planes that uh, uh, that are in the simulator, and it's it's interesting. It's kind of like uh, kind of like Josh and, and, and the guys when they did the uh, flight test video on the simulators. They said that. Uh, um, They said you could own the model and then just play on the simulator for a little while. You get it down pat, just throw a battery in the same model, take it out and fly it. It's true. It, it, it actually works that way. I've got the Icon A5 that I built uh, last, last summer. Um, towards the end of last summer, I found all the parts for the discontinued, the big one. And I put one together. Well, I, I've got it on the simulator, so I was trying it out to get used to it. And you know, When I did actually maiden the thing... Uh, the, the, the flight characteristics were, were pretty much identical. Anyway, we've got a very nice uh, manual here, written in English. Holy cow, all the specs. This is going to be interesting. Well, it's got it both languages, but uh, English, some decals. I mean, actual written, put uh, which cover F it's marked, it's showing. You know, sometimes how you got to guess the screws and the lengths and, you know, all that kind of stuff. This is pretty much done for you. This is the, the plug-and-play version, so... Um, missing a slat over here? No, they just don't put one there. Okay, we've got our carbon uh, rod, rod spars here. And then... Uh, they package these things well pretty, pretty good, I'd say. I, I expected the box to be bigger, but they're getting much better at packaging. So here we got the fuselage. It looks like the most of it. Uh, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. I really, really figured this this jet to be to be bigger. But boy, the detail, the scale is is uh, is amazing. Let's see, pull it out of the plastic here. here. All plug and play it looks like. I won't be gluing this thing. Um, the canopy fuselage. And, um, looks like, oh, very positive magnetic and a locking latch. Locking latch mechanism here guys. So, uh, let's take a look at the rest of what we got here. Try not to drop this. Half of my damage is done usually on these on these goofy things. Uh, taking them out of the box, building them, or getting them to and from my house to the truck, or getting them to the field is usually the, the, the most damage that gets done. Well, they really do package the stuff in here, don't they? 
Okay, we got our wings, our servos. And with the PNP version, guys, looks like everything is attached. Oh, look at this. Decals and everything. Super bright LEDs. Two different places on the wings. Yeah, red lights on this one, so that would be the, uh, the left. Left wing. So that goes over here. Mm -hmm. This is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. In fact, I think I'm going to stop this video. So I might just take this back. If I can figure out <laughs> how it goes back in. Should I take it back? It's smaller than I thought. I thought it was going to be about the size of the... Uh, the LX F22. I suppose it, it it might be close by the time I'm done. Anyway, got some goobers here I'm not real happy with. That's right up on the top. That's a visual. You can see that that was even painted and touched up. Somebody did that from the factory. A little separation here. Now I know foam is not supposed to be, you, know, you can't expect it to be perfect, but when you dish out 500 bucks for a foam model, you don't want to see anything bad on it. So we're going to go over this thing with a fine tooth comb. It does have scotch guard like or almost it looks like reflective. It's interesting. I don't think it is. Some goobery put together there. Hmm. Well. And the fuselage is not. Yeah, this just ain't right. We're gonna kill this video, guys. I think this plane's going back. I mean, the commercial's a lot nicer. The decals are not on straight like they said, and and all that stuff. It's uh, it's got some blemishes, some dings. It's got this big goober right there. You know. For a high-end jet, this one could be a little better. I must, maybe I got one after the guy had a rough night, too much sake. Oh well, it can be done. Listen, if I was get, if I if I was to had just ordered this and just got it in, I'd probably be overlooking all this. After all, it is just foam, and you know how these things go. They're probably going to see worse days, more than I can do. To it it'll happen all by itself all right I'm not gonna continue with this any further because once it actually gets taken out of the box opened up and all that stuff it gets a little harder to, to take back I have to think on this one thanks for watching guys free wing f6 f15 C super eagle nice plane I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, and um, it shouldn't have touch-ups and, and gouges in it with the wrong color paint to touch it up on the right up on the top. That just that's wrong. Uh, I'm sure it'll see worse, but I shouldn't get it that way. Mm. We'll be thinking on it. I could live with that, but really thought it was going to be bigger. Have to sleep on this one. Thanks for watching. That one over there is going to be fun. No intentions of getting rid of that bad boy. That'll be a barn burner. This? Yeah. It's it's not that much bigger than... Well, it is missing the nose. I suppose the nose goes out to here. Altogether, it probably looks a little bit bigger. We'll maybe think on it a little bit. Give it a shot. Again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.